2017 is bringing the first ever Formula Student Driverless. Stefan, can you tell us a bit, little bit about the competition? Yeah, well, the competition is about driving without a driver. Uh, we have uh, several uh, static disciplines which are uh, mainly comparable to the uh, other competitions. We have um, the business plan event, we have the uh, engineering design event, we have the uh, cost event and additionally we have the autonomous design event which is uh, mainly about the autonomous system which makes the uh, car percept its environment and, and calculate its actions. Um, then we have uh, dynamic events, uh, they are also compar comparable to the uh, existing events. So we have skid pad, we have acceleration and we combine the autocross and the um, endurance event to a so-called track drive event which is uh, going 10 laps and um, every lap will count. Could you tell us maybe a little bit about these driverless cars? Yeah, uh, basically the cars are uh, pretty much the same as uh, combustion or electric cars. Therefore, teams are allowed to use uh, cars from previous season as a basis. However, as we need to replace the driver, we need some additional components to do so. That would be uh, actuation for the steering system, some kind of actuation for the brake system. And uh, for safety reasons, we also need a remote controlled emergency brake system. Additionally, as the car can see something, we need some environment perception sensors and as a brain of the car, we do have some computers there which are running algorithms to decide where the car should go and how fast it should go. Well, congratulations. Your team was the first ever team to finish an event at Formula Student Driverless. How do you feel? I feel amazing. Um, we were really on our toes, especially at the second run. The first run didn't go that well. Uh, so after it finally did it over the finishing line, it was just pure happiness, pure joy, which we felt. And uh, can you maybe tell us a little bit about your car? Uh, the car is uh, the car from 2015, where we also drove here in Germany. Uh, we adapted it, we added a lot of sensors, or a lot of sensors. We have a LiDAR at the front and a stereo camera, an inertial stereo camera actually, at the top of the roll hoop. And those systems help the car see the environment, like here, the, the cones of the acceleration, and it helps uh, it to maneuver within. So you guys have just got the best time in skid pad, um, how are you feeling about it? Oh, it feels great, so um, we have been training for this a lot and actually the car which has been uh, remodeled from last year's car and last year's car already won skid pad in last year's competition, one, one of the last year's competitions, so it feels familiar somewhat and also feels great obviously. Great, and um, can you just tell me what is this around your waist? This year, this year is like, actually it's a crane emergency device something but we use it for these cars as well because it's rated and it makes sure that we can stop the car whenever we feel un that it's unsafe to drive further so as we have a limited space on the test area we want to make sure that the car doesn't run into any obstacles so in that case we can push the red button and the car immediately has to come to a few full stop and that's tested in before the competition starts and all the teams have to go through it we have gone through it and it works well and then there is another button which is rather unspectacular but it actually starts the run so it's like the green flag for the driverless cars you see the green flag waved here but that's not for the car obviously the car just listens to the button i have here it's been a fantastic first ever year of formula student driverless and we can't wait to see more teams in 2018